Okay, hi. And we're going to do question number five. And okay, for an object moving with uniform acceleration, the velocity v is given by the equation v squared equals to p plus q x, where p and q are constant with dimensions, so we cannot neglect p and q because even though they are constant but they have dimensions and x is displacement find the dimensions uh, find the dimension of term q so x is displacement okay and v is a uh, velocity okay so they want us to find the term q okay um in dimensional analysis, when you encounter this type of equation, when you have um, two terms, um, either um, submission or subtraction, you have to consider these uh, individually. So I'm going to show you how. So this is a uh, left hand side. So since you have two terms, you cannot uh, combine them together and compare with the left hand side you have to take them individually so this is right hand side and also this is right hand side so let me solve for the left hand side so find the dimension of v it should be l over t to the power of 2 means that l to t minus 2 okay so since they are asking for q okay i will show you if they ask for p and q so for right hand side if i want to find p it's just p okay so if you compare is l to t minus 2 is actually p the value of p is the whole thing so you have to take uh, this term individually you cannot combine so let's find for q so right hand side is q and x so we have q and the displacement means uh, length so we have q l we compare with the left hand side l squared T minus 2 okay now um, we have to make the dimensions uh, of both sides to be the same so how do I make Q this side is the same thing as this side okay so L is to the power of 1 but here I have L to the power of 2 so Q here must have L to the power of 1 so that l to the power of 1 plus l to the power of 1 will be equal to l to the power of 2 and since this term don't have um, time so we just um, add time power of 2 so that both sides have equal dimensions okay so this whole thing is actually p okay